here in Washington, D.C. Glad you're with us. And Chris, of course, you have to think about that 2019 World Series run. Really impressive by the Nats. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Rusty Staub. One of the pillars of this lineup, and when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. One up, one down. Next up. It's the first year shortstop. Number 20. One down, base is empty. Gets him to chase after that one. Big time gem right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. On the ground. Fires to first on the run. Yeah. Two up, two ah. down. That is third. The left fielder. Now the left fielder, Leon Jones. Yeah. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the catch, and that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Mets. Now it'll be Washington's. Back in Washington, D.C. And towing the slab, number 46. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout-to-walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. The 2-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, no Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Nationals go quietly. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the rookie DH, number one. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Yeah, just looking lost at the plate in this first A.B. Suppose swings aren't even close. Hit hard. That gets through. And here's the rookie center fielder, number 35. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One away. That is good. And next for the Mets, number seven. Number Two seven. hits for him in yesterday's game. 2-1 now. And there's a foul ball. And now two and two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Good eye right there. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well.
eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Runner on the goal. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Puts it away for the out. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. And now, Wayne Garrett. Two outs. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Got him looking. And that will end the inning. Met strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Nationals Park. And now the first baseman, number six. In the air, right field, number 18. Drop steps, heads back on it. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Mac Jones digging in for the Nationals. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start, so I think the guys further that down is. in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher, do something to get him out of his rhythm. Right side, Boswell. Tosses to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for Washington. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Martin. 2-2 Two -two down. Right side. Hard hit. Takes it himself. And one away in the top of the third. The right field. Number 18. Up now for the Mets. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now Ken, double play ball to second. There's one, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's the left fielder, Ellis Valentine. One, two now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Number 49, digging in for the Nationals. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Jones settles underneath it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. So two down now, and here is number seven. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nine straight retired here to start the game. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back in Washington, D.C., John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, number 14. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Diving, and he 
he can't make the play. Here comes the throw. Oh, Safe. He beats it. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And now it's going to be number one. They put the tag on him, throw to first, but he beat it. Now number 35. Two on, one out. Number 35 up now for the Mets. He's 0 for 1. At the belt and fires. Swung on, belted. That's back. And brings it in at the wall. Runner tagging and heading for home. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. And here's the first baseman, number, number seven, over one so far. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That one to first. He'll do it himself, and that'll do it. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Mets one and the Nationals nothing. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Ron Hunt. The second baseman, Ron Hunt. That one in for a strike, two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Zips it across, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Number 16, digging in for the Nationals. On the ground to the left. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Lifted in the air out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Oh, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. On the ground out to short. Fires over to first. And that is that. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Mets one. Back here in Nationals Park. Down the third baseman, Wayne Garrett. Here's a 1-1. And now 1-2. and two. two strikes to a guy who's already 0-1 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Ground ball to the right side. Throws to first. One up, one down. Martin will hit next. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Man at first with one gone, and stepping in for New York, number 18. And he's already singled in this game. Next pitch has popped up. Squeezes it, and there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath yeah. it a little bit and popped it up. Boswell. Here's the Mets' leadoff man, Ken Boswell. Three Swings and misses. Three and two now. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Ross Grimsley looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Knowles getting cranked up as well. And he grounds one back up the middle. The throw to first. That's out number three. Mets leave one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Bottom of the inning, and now up for Washington. Number six. Righty delivers. Swung on. Popped up on the infield. Brings it in, and there's one down. 
Digging in, Mac Jones. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Left-hand batter waits. Ripped on the ground a second to first. All half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Now back. Number three, digging in for the Nationals. Grounded out his first time. That one out to right. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Three up, three down for Washington. They trail here, one nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Ross Grimsley. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws, and he gets him. Nicely done. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Now it's going to be Leon Jones. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a one-two. Gets under it and pops it up. Hunt tracks it down for the out. Now that out. Number one. So now here's the DH. Number one. One for two. The one-one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Movement in the bullpen. Claude Raymond appears to be getting loose. Here's a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Out towards right center field. Stop. Moving under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. So they make short work of him there. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Mets one and the Nationals nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Up now for Washington. Ellis Valentine to the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. The one-two. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. The one-two. Inside, just missed. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And next is the designated hitter, number 49. Glide out his first time, and now a full count. Hard hit, left side. Sends it across the first. And that quickly, two away. Fastball grew no, right no, down no. the middle. Usually no, a lot no, of damage no. done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Two down, nobody on. And a strike. The Nats still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Brings it in for the third out. Nationals go quietly. They're down one nothing. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now, number 35. The, the center field. Number 35. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Now that Number seven. Nobody out. Runner at first. Rip. 
ripped into right center. Base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Wayne Garrett now at the plate. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Down the line towards the corner. Valentine right there to make the grab. Runner tags for third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they lead by two. In that situation, you're lucky to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the catcher, Martin. The pitch. Out to short. To second, there's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the base runner. Now bad, bad. And now number the right 18. fielder, number 18. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, left field. Valentine drifts towards it and makes the grab. And that is that. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mets two and the Nationals nothing. Back in Washington, D.C., set for the last half of the seventh at the play. Ron Hunt kicks and fires. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it on his own, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now here is number 16. Hit on a line, and that's a base hit. And that ends the perfect game bid. So the perfect game bid comes to an end, and now we'll see what he's got left in the tank and how to play it on the mound moving forward. But Singy, he's been a lot of fun to watch in this one. Yeah, Boog, really impressive from the very beginning. I mean, this guy was in total command the whole time, attacking hitters, and really he's made them look pretty lost up to this point. The tying run at the plate. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, no, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. So one left for Washington, and they're down 2-0. Here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth, and here is Ken Boswell. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. And now it's one and two. And a swing and a miss. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Leon Jones, one for three. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. It gets down a base hit, and that extends the inning.
back against the wall with two strikes but found a way just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field everything was on time first offering runner goes pitch in the dirt safe at second and he easily steals the bag here's what I think the manager's thinking right now today we're not driving the ball it's hard to get extra base hits we've got to make something happen to get a runner in a scoring position that stolen base excellent call now all it takes is perhaps a single to put a run on the board Three and two now. In the air, center field. Jones should have this one. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Mets strand one, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now up for Washington, Matt Jones. Matt Jones. Man, this has been impressive. Just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning. He's given them a lot of length, and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go. High fly ball, shallow right field. Number 18 under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one away. Now got it. Number three. Next to hit, number three. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Number 46 is done, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Chuck Taylor will take over here. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Chuck Taylor. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Fouls it off. Still 1-2. and two. Right-handed reliever. Sneaks through, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, the last ten games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. What a play, inning over. Nationals leave one. They trail things here, 2-0. We go. to the ninth and now the center fielder number 35 and now the lefty and a count one and two this guy's seen two change-ups in a row could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here The next pitch misses. It's two and two. That one 95 to finish him off. That really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the plate. Got him to chase it. 
That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Line drive, and there are two outs. Here's the third baseman, Wayne Garrett. Wayne Garrett. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Catcher has it, fires the first. Wide throw, pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Well, you don't see it very often, but every once in a while, a guy strikes out and still somehow ends up safe on first. And when it happens, you kind of scratch your head, but I guess sometimes a pitch is so nasty, it makes everyone miss. Now they're going to have to get more than three outs in this inning. Now the batter now, Martin. Kicks and deals. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. And the pitch. In the dirt. Up with it. Fires to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mets 2 and the Nationals nothing. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Tug McGraw. He's pitching on two days rest. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, number seven. Back up the, oh, that got him. He's in there. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. So the Nets lineup turns over. Ron Hunt digging in for the Nationals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 2-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Base hit center field. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Ground ball could be two. Quick feed to second for one. They get the double play, and just one out to go now. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. It's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. So it's their last chance in this one. Rusty Staub digging in for the Nationals as the Nationals are down to their final out. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits. And now all of a sudden, it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that these guys are playing at right now. And that's one of those things. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to disturb things. Make sure the clubhouse guy is giving you the same good food he's been giving you all along. And you can keep this win streak going. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
final line score for our ball. Yeah, sir, because I'm taking this thing for. So two down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number, one number one up now for the Mets. Looking to complete the cycle with a double. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Slice down the right side. Fights it off, he'll see another. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. The Mets lead it 13 to one. Runner at first with two away. And here is Ellis Valentine as the Nationals are down to their final out. Here's a one-two. Out to center. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets take this one in a blowout. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. 13-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chum. Everybody stand up. <laughs> So first and second with two outs. Al, Al Baker Luke, next to hit for the Rays. Ah, trying to deliver as the hero. That's in there. Strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Here's the 0-2. Just missed. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, looked like the pitcher was getting into a little trouble there, but quickly brought out a pitch that isn't what most hitters are looking for with that great velocity. But it was really good movement on the changeup and a nice win today. 6 5 the final here today. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. For the victorious New York TGIF and welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Metropolitans allowed only five hits as a staff 